We hear a lot of good plans. We hear actually a lot of good intentions. But somehow, for decades, nothing really has changed. What we need now is a proven leader who has produced results. That's how you go from secretary to CEO. You lead and you produce results. I will cut this government down to size and hold it accountable. This is the first time I really actually made a lot of eye contact with the camera. And it feels like one of those commercials where like, enough, <laughs> enough. I mean, yeah, yeah. Enough. Enough yet, of this. Demand a plan. Yeah. <laughs> she went from secretary to CEO. Heart heart, and she was fired. And so now she's running for president after she lost for senator. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, she's going to beat Hillary because she's a woman. But she didn't beat Barbara Boxer when she was And your support and your prayers, <clears throat> I will lead with the citizens of this great nation, the resurgence of this great nation. Thank you, Mrs. Fiedler. Along with Dr. help Carson. from the CIA, I Michael just Hayden. I want to thank all <laughs> my colleagues here for uh, being civil, not falling for the traps. And uh, I just also want to thank the audience for being attentive and noticing the questions and noticing the answers. And this is what I'm finding throughout America. People are waking up because it is going to be us who will re determine the direction of our country. And uh, it was made for we the people. We are the ones who decide who we are. And we should never give away the values and principles that made America into a great nation for the sake of political correctness. Mr. Trump. Our country doesn't win anymore. We used to win. We don't win anymore. We lose on trade. We lose with ISIS. We lose with one of the worst deals I've ever seen negotiated of any kind. That's our recent catastrophe with Iran. We don't win. Let me give you one quick example. These folks, CNBC, they had it down at three, three and a half hours. I just read today in the New York Times, $250,000 for a 30 second ad. I went out and said, it's ridiculous. Nobody, I could stand up here all night. Nobody wants to watch three and a half or three hours it was a big sacrifice, and I have to hand it to Ben. We called Ben. He was with me 100%. We called in. We said, that's it. We're not doing it. They lost a lot of money. Everybody said it couldn't be done. Everybody said it was going to be three hours, three and a half, including them. And in about two minutes, I renegotiated it down to two hours so we can get the hell out of here. Not bad. <laughs> not bad. Well, actually, I got to thank you for that. So I'm going to have to suffer through this America great again and thank you everybody just for the record just for the record the debate was always going to be two hours Senator Rubio that's not <laughs> right <laughs> Senator Rubio absolutely not right you yeah. know that that is not right Senator Rubio thank you you know America doesn't owe me anything I have a debt to America I'll never repay this isn't just the country I was born in. No, this is the that. nation that literally changed <laughs> yeah. the history They would just of my deny life. that he had a debt he couldn't My repay. parents in this country were able to give me the chance. <laughs> more to people say, like, you, you guys don't owe me anything. Like, you're damn American right about dream, that. It's built on yeah. the universal dream. And not just him, like everybody. The fact that it's happened for so many people here throughout our history, that's what makes us special. But now for millions of Americans, it's slipping away. And we have a government and leaders in government that are completely out of touch. And that's why I'm running for president. Because we can't just save the American dream, we can expand it to reach more people and change more lives than ever before. And that's why tonight I'm asking you for your vote. Thank you, Senator. Governor dreams Bush. come true. America's at a crossroads. The D.C. politicians continue to make things worse. Like your brother and father? Success. 32 years in business and eight years as governor of the state of Florida. My I brother change the culture and my father Washington. before him have just totally run this country. <laughs> in Tallahassee. And then, and then we brought in our friend Barack Obama to just drive it down. A unifier, not a <laughs> so vote for me, people. I'll make it even worse. Exactly what you I want a man to send your son to war? Where people are you vote Jeb Bush. Again. Imagine a country where the middle they class call him can Jeb, and he earned rising it. income again. I know we can do this because we're still the most extraordinary country on the face of the earth. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. Divider in chief. That should go down in history as like one you of the know, best I know to a lot of people in the media, this is just a great big game, and we're the players. And we come out here and we do our thing. And sometimes we're held up in contempt by people who write columns. But I guarantee you to every person on this stage, there's something deep inside of us that would cause us to give up our livelihoods and step out on this stage and it's fight. Like three dinners America. inside Christie. I've got five grandkids. <laughs> well, you I know, do and not want to walk. Because Jeb could be doing something really cool other than this. Through the charred <laughs> remains of a once great country Watching called America Supergirl. and say, here yeah, you go. Exactly. $20 trillion it. dollars a yeah. Yeah. And I've lost my TiVo. His favorite Marvel superhero. <laughs> and yeah, Marvel. Oh, uh, he's a silly goose. <laughs> think long and hard why we're here. And hopefully you'll know we're not here for ourselves. We, honest to God, 
are here to get this country well, back on track. Mm -hmm. I know this. I certainly am. Thank you, Thank Governor. You. Governor Casey. I was on Morning Joe at a town hall and a young student stood up and said, can I still be idealistic? I said, absolutely, you can still change the world. And you know the old inscription, if you save one life, you've changed the world. Folks, we have a problem here with the leadership. But you can't do anything until you pay off all those problem. student loans. <laughs> we need to rebuild our families. We need to have stronger families. Your we mind need to know who our like neighbors are. We, we need, need to, to know what gender they are. We can't even say he or she. America is <laughs> global <laughs> penguins. Not from the top down. Oh, yeah, we want to elect a good president. But America is great from the bottom up. And the bottom up is us in our families, in our communities, in our neighborhoods. Yeah, these guys we are definitely America if some of the bottoms together, that we found in America. Totally <laughs> yeah, yeah. That we will. The bottom. So God bless America. Hey, Chris Christie's Thank down you. here on my boot. There we go. Tonight's debate and the Ronald Reagan. Becky okay. Harwood, Sharon Epperson, That's it. Santana. That's their uh, coverage. We'd like to thank we're going to uh, play, uh, Rob, we're going to play a couple of uh, special reports. Is that correct? Yeah. We got uh, Joe did one today on the runaway blimp. Yes. Tying it into yes. what Alex covered uh, over 10 years ago in 9-11, Martial Law Rise of the Police Day. But Joe, why don't you introduce this? And we also have a report from Leah McAdoo from today on location in St. Louis. All right, coming up next, a report by myself about the runaway blimp. Let's go check out that report now. This is Joe Biggs with Infowars.com with some breaking news. A blimp that NORAD has has become untethered. Now it says a blimp associated with NORAD surveillance of the East Coast has become untethered from its area in Maryland is now flying over Pennsylvania. Now it's also dragging the cables that it, it came untethered from the ground from. They're around 1,600 feet long and they are now dragging across Pennsylvania. Now it says that there are approximately uh, about 18,000 people without power in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. And NORAD has tweeted out that they want anybody to take footage and kind of give whereabouts of where they see that so they can help contain this blimp. Now the military has already scrambled two F-16 fighter jets to kind of keep an eye on the situation as it unfolds folds. Now, what we're going to do, though, is we're actually going to cut to some footage where a Alex Jones actually predicted that this kind of equipment would be used. Now, why do we need equipment like this? Well, ever since 9-11, our government has continued its profiling, its spying on American citizens, American citizens who have committed zero crimes, all in the name of looking for terrorism and trying to stop these terrorist threats. And time and time again, we've seen reports where none of the interrogations that have been used at Guantanamo have ever led to one tangible piece of hardcore intelligence that have actually led to anything being stopped. And instead, we're torturing people. We're spying on American citizens via Facebook, through our cell phones, through our TVs, through microwaves, and they're using this to profile you. They're taking pictures of your face, they're finding out your patterns of what you look at, and they put this in a large database to see whether or not you're going to commit a crime. It's almost like watching the movie Minority Report. It's actually happening right now. And over 10 years ago, Alex Jones himself here, the leader of Infowars.com, predicted that this kind of technology would be implemented. And now this blimp has been set up over the East Coast to keep an eye on certain things that could possibly happen. Now let's go to the footage from the martial law 9-11 rise of the police state footage of Alex Jones, where he actually breaks down these blimps, what they can do, and really what it all means. And then after that, we'll go to some CNN footage where there's a high-ranking military official talking about this exact same thing. Straight out of the running man, right here in New York, we have police state surveillance blimps that are sponsored by Fuji Film. This is only the beginning. In the future, every major city will have a high altitude blimp tethered to a cable with ground penetrating radar that looks right through your walls and gives the government a black and white image of the inside of your home. This entire war on terror is truly 
a pretext to launch a military industrial complex takeover of the entire society. Everything is now going to shift into prisons and surveillance and security. We're going out of the free market economy into the fascist economy. The elite has used socialism to consolidate the people's wealth. Now that it's under their control, they're going to phase out all of the programs for the population and it's all going to corporate welfare. This is the new America. Sound weapons. Police in black ski masks with automatic machine guns. And yes, helicopters swarming around surveillance blimps right here in New York City. And only in the new corporate fascist America would we have a blimp for police state purposes uh, that is sponsored by a major company. And we found out that Fuji gave free bikes to all the police. And guess why? They sold the U.S. government, a bunch of different city governments, or trying to sell other city governments, these high-tech imaging systems, these face scanning systems to recognize who we are. So our face becomes the national ID card, and Fuji is on the cutting edge of that. In the past, football teams had sponsors or baseball teams. Then it was named stadiums after phone companies, Southwestern Bell, Nextel. Now we have the Fuji-sponsored NYPD blimp. As, as we've been talking to people who've spotted this blimp, as you can see, this is the, the first bit of video, uh, it is uh, losing altitude. So uh, they're hoping perhaps it can land somewhere rural uh, and the local authorities can, can get whatever intelligence and sensitive material uh, that lies within this blimp. That said, General Mark Hurtling, who is joining me now, who can talk a little bit more about what this blimp is, its uses. Um, generally, you, this is an aerostat blimp, and you're familiar with, with these because of what, using them overseas? Yeah, we, we've used these in Iraq uh, and Afghanistan, Brooke, over the last couple of years. They are a great piece of kit. Uh, it's called an aerostat. Uh, J lens, which you heard the individual from NORAD say before, stands for Joint Land Elevated Network Sensor. Well, as you can see, Alex Jones pretty much nailed it. He called this over 10 years ago in the video Martial Law 9 11 Rise of the Police State. Now, this leads to, you know, to question what's going to happen next? What kind of technologies are going to pop up that are going to be used to spy on us, citizens who are just doing the right thing? You know, it's sickening to know that we're always being watched and our government is more scared of its citizens, law-abiding citizens mostly, than they are actual terrorist threats that are out there, unlike the ISIS threats that we've made up, the ones that we're helping along to arm, giving them the money, the power to do what it is they need to help overthrow governments that our government, quite frankly, couldn't get the, uh, the uh, clearance to go do. You know, ISIS is bred from the Obama administration trying to go in and take out the Assad regime. And now we have ISIS out there doing that work for them. What else is going to happen? Well, if you want to find out what's going to happen in the future, continue to watch Infowars.com because every day we're breaking new stories and letting you, the people, the American people, the people around the world, know what's going to happen, what's coming up, and what to look forward. Because there's a lot of people out there that are going to see this and go, oh my God, that blimp sounds so neat. We'll be able to spot terrorists, things like that, not even thinking about the fact that they themselves are being spied on. So stay tuned for more reports at Infowars.com. I'm Joe Biggs. liver can be full of fatty deposits, built up toxins, and even dangerous objects known as liver stones. We worked with the top developers in the field of detox to take tried and true herbs and other compounds known to safely cleanse the liver and fuse it with the latest research and technological development on concentrating these ingredients to give you the maximum effect. Liver Shield is the only liver support product on the market that uses a patented Spigerex blend of powerful organic herbs that support detoxification. And when you visit InfoWarsLife.com, See the instructional video on how to do a six-day liver detox. This isn't a game, and let me tell you, the results are dramatic. Liver Shield is totally organic and made of the safest high-quality herbs. But that said, you need to consult your physician before you do the full detox. Liver Shield can also be used daily by itself for overall upkeep of the liver. Secure your Liver Shield today exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com for the lowest price available. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain force is here. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash and gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the 